Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I am your host, x.e.l.o. Today, we're going to be going over how to make a custom script to copy and paste items inside of Reaper. Let's go. All right, so if you're like me, you came from a different door. I used to use FL Studio a whole lot. There was a very nice feature that they had to actually like paint your items inside of FL Studio. Let me show you really quick what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm just gonna take a clap, bring it into the timeline. I'm gonna bring a kick, bring that into the timeline. All right, so let's zoom in a little bit more so you can kind of see. All right, so I have my kick here and I have my snare here. So if I if I wanted to add another snare, I don't have to like hold down control and drag it to where I want it to be. I can just go over wherever I want, make sure this one is highlighted and click and it'll add that snare wherever I'm clicking. Uh, same thing with the kick. If I want to do the kick, I can just do another kick and put it wherever I want to do that. If I wanted to put it down here, I could put it in another track or another lane however I wanted to do it. Uh, I thought this was a really great option for FL. Even if it was just MIDI, you can do the same thing for the MIDI tracks and just move them or click it and then move it to another section. This makes it a lot easier to arrange when you're doing different arrangements inside of your project. And I couldn't really find it inside of Reaper. So I had to make my own custom script in order to actually do something similar to this. So let's get into Reaper. All right, so here we are in Reaper, and this is the piece theme that I'm using here. So I'm going to do the same thing as drag over a kick and a snare or a clap. So grab this kick. Uh, let's go up one. Let's grab a clap. All right, so I have my kick and my clap. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. All right. And one of the things I didn't necessarily like is that I had to like hold down control to kind of grab and drag this around if I wanted to add it somewhere else, or I had to do like a control C then do like move the mouse cursor and then control V to kind of add it on there that way. Um, I have no problem with the duplicate this control and duplicate it over that. That part is perfectly fine. And uh, you know, I usually do that in FL as well, but it's just the fact that I can't really just click and just add these other ones on here uh, as I want. So I had to make a script in order to do that. So if I hold, if I hit on this kick and I hold down control, you see the icon changes. So now I can actually just click and add a kick wherever I want to, or if I click on this one, and if I wanted to add a new line, I can go down here, hold down that control and click, and I'll add that snare down to this line. If I want to add the kick and go down here and add the kick. So it's wherever your mouse cursor is, you can just kind of add another kick or snare or even a MIDI pattern um, inside here. Uh, or if you have like a whole set of stuff and you want to kind of move all this off, so let's shrink this down. And I wanted to move all this down here. I can just make sure I'm on the right one. Because if I'm on this one and I do it, it's going to move it down. Let me show you. So if I click here and then do, as you see, it made another track down here, which I didn't want to do. Control Z. So it will be just like if, if you were doing it in FL, it kind of does that same thing in FL as well. So if I'm on this one and I do that, I can move them here and boom, I can just set it up to move it to where I want it to be. Um, I think this is very, very helpful when you're actually doing a whole bunch of different edits or adding drums uh, to things inside of Reaper. So let me show you how to get this set up. So first you wanna do is go to actions and then you wanna to go to show action list, All right? And this is mine's here that I created, but I'm gonna create a new one. So I'm gonna go down here to where it says new action, click on that and go to new custom action, All right? So now what we wanna do is find three things. We're gonna find this, uh, we're gonna go to edit, right? So we're in the edit section, and then we wanna do copy. 
And we want to do this one that says copy items. We're going to drag this over to this section here. So now this will make your custom action, right? So let's delete this one and we're going to go to view, right? And once we're in view, we're going to go to move. So we want to do this one that says move edit cursor to mouse, mouse cursor. So basically the edit cursor will move to wherever the mouse is. So we're going to add and drag this one over as well. And the last one is going to be an item. And the item is going to be paste. So we want to do paste item slash tracks. So what this is going to do is actually paste whatever item was highlighted. So we're going to copy the item when we click on it. We're going to be able to move it to wherever the mouse cursor is, and then we'll be able to paste it wherever that mouse cursor is all in one action. And this is what this is the power of Reaper and you have your custom actions. You can make all these different variations of things that you want it to be. But let's continue on. So then you just name it. Uh, let's say we just name it um, Excel item copy, right? So we made a new uh, custom action. It's called Excel item copy and we're going to hit OK. So now we have this new item copy right here. This is the new action that we just created. So in order to actually put it in place so you can actually use it inside of Reaper. So if you wanted to make like a tool, you can make it a tool item and just kind of click on it to turn it on and off. You can also set it up as a hotkey. Uh, the option I use is the control and click in order to actually do it. So I'm going to show you how I have mine set up right now. So I'm going to do a control and P on the keyboard to bring up my preferences. So you want to go to mouse modifiers. And once you're on mouse modifiers, make sure you go down in here to this top thing, go down to where it says track. And once you're in track, you want to click on this one that says left click, right? And as you see my control left click is my custom action that I created. So this is where I actually put mine. So if you click on it, if you double click on it, um, the default is going to be deselect all items and move edit cursor, ignoring snap. I didn't need this option. So that's why I changed it to my own custom option. But if uh, you just set yours up and you want to do it, just go to custom action, go to item copy, this custom action here, and then hit select and close. So now it's actually set up on here. Just hit apply and then hit okay. So now we have it set up to actually do that custom action. So if I click on this and I hold down control, you can see now I have that new item to create. And if I wanted to, let's say I shrunk this down, I want to do another one. I can just add them in here just like that, which is really cool. So you can actually have it to where you can do different shops and um, setups with this tool as well. And this makes it really easy to kind of lay down some drums. Uh, if you like to do it this way, some people like to do it uh, by adding the MIDI. You can do it this way as well. Uh, so let's make a beat real quick using this method and see what we come up with. All right, so I just chose a random sample. So I'm gonna use my basics drum kit. Uh, it's a new drum kit I just put out. Uh, it is on my website at xeloh.com, and right now there's a 50% off discount if you go and purchase it during the month of March. All right, so let's get into this. Let's add some hi hats. All right, I'm gonna kind of stretch this out so we can make it a little bigger. Um, so I have a, a hi hat, I have a snare, and I have a kick. So what I can do is just do um, control and D to duplicate these over to make the hi-hats just line up uh, pretty simple. Nope, and that's probably not what we wanna do though. So I'm gonna click on the hi-hat and I'm just gonna add them every other section here.
So, and just like that, I can set up a nice little drum pattern. All right. So let's say if you wanted to uh, grab all of these, so I can grab all of these, click on this top one, hold down control and click, and it'll add it right after the section. Or I could have did a control and uh, D to duplicate it over, but I'm just going to show you guys that this is a very nice and easy, powerful way to kind of get everything set up. Uh, page down. So I have my reverse set up for page down. So I'll reverse this part of the sample. So. All right, so I'm basically gonna add an 808 in here. Uh, just kind of give it a little bit of a feel. And I'm using the Resamplematic 5000 and I put on the Obey note and I put the max voices to one so that I, they don't overlap. And I use a portamento on there just so I can slide if I need to slide the notes. All right, so let's see if we can record something in here. So I'm just gonna double click here to add bar. All right, so I, ate, I added the sample in here. I added the 808 and the drums that you saw me actually lay down a little earlier. And this is what it sounds like right now. Something really simple, something really easy to put together. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to the channel. It's still a new channel. So we're still trying to build it up. Uh, let people know how awesome Reaper really is. Uh, this is a really a quick way to just add different items inside of the arranger section inside of Reaper. And if you haven't already, definitely check out my website. It's gonna be xelohh.com. And if you are interested in actually joining our Discord server, we do monthly sample flips inside there. I do have a link below in the description that you can go into our Discord server and have fun. We talk about Reaper, we talk about other dolls as well. So definitely join us for that. And I just wanna say thank you guys for watching, learning Reaper. Till next time, peace. Hey you, yes you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it, I'll wait. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.